Hillary just caught in sick pic with girl who accused Roy Moore of groping her. Republican Senate candidate Roy Moore has been accused of sexually assaulting a minor many years ago and it has been causing a plethora of controversies surrounding whether or not he should stay in the race. Republicans and Democrats have been collectively calling for him to step down but he refuses to budge. What recently was found out about his accuser is not surprising but certainly disappointing. The accusation is that Moore dated a girl in her teens when he was in his 30s. However, his accuser was recently found to have been an interpreter for Hillary Clinton via a picture which cannot be refuted. Despite these allegations, he has still been supported by President Donald Trump as well as ultra-conservative Steve Bannon, a former advisor to the president and now again the leader of Breitbart News. Local party officials also were not phased by the accusations. Calhoun County Republican Party Chairman James Bennett told the Montgomery Advertiser the following about the situation. I think it's going to affect the turnout, I think the turnout is going to be larger for Roy Moore. I got more calls yesterday for Roy Moore signs than I have since the primary. I think, Moore supporters, are very skeptical of the reporting for weeks before the election. They're going to withhold their judgment, but they're not going to withhold their vote. Republican State Senator Dick Brubaker told the Alabama Public Radio the following. I mean, how do you react to an allegation that supposedly happened 38 years ago? I do not buy the idea that suddenly because it's now the U.S. Senate, she felt like she had to come forward. I mean, come on. Some local Alabamians noted that people were skeptical of the allegations because they felt like they could have come from the Washington establishment. In what some feel is a sick attempt by the Washington elites to try and keep an outsider like Moore from getting inside and D.C. The Daily Mail reported. The local support for Moore stood in stark contrast to the reaction from the GOP establishment, after Senate Republicans cut fundraising ties with the candidate on Friday. Meanwhile, a photo emerged on Friday showing one of Moore's accusers working at a Clinton campaign event. Deborah Wesson Gibson is seen working at a Clinton campaign rally in Florida and posing with former Vice President Joe Biden in pictures her company posted online. Gibson owns the Delray Beach, Florida-based interpreting company Signs of Excellence. In the photos, Gibson also seen working at campaign events or posing with former Representative Patrick Murphy and Senator Bill Nelson, both Democrats. Gibson claimed in the report that Moore had dated her for several months when she was 17 and he was 34. She recalled that he read her poetry and played his guitar for her, and that he kissed her twice in the course of the relationship. The age of consent in Alabama is 16, but the report also detailed claims by another woman, Lee Korfman, who said that Moore sexually touched her over her underwear when she was 14. Moore has emphatically denied ever meeting Korfman, saying, I never knew this woman, I never met this woman and these charges are politically motivated. The Hill reported another interesting development. A former colleague of GOP Senate candidate Roy Moore said Saturday that it was common knowledge that the Alabama Republican dated high school girls when he worked in the Etowah County District Attorney's Office in the 1980s. In a statement to CNN, Teresa Jones, who served as Deputy District Attorney for Etowah County, Alabama, from 1982 until 1985, said that multiple people thought it was unusual that Moore dated high school girls, but that no one ever raised the matter with him. It was common knowledge that Roy Moore dated high school girls, everyone we knew thought it was weird, Jones told CNN. We wondered why someone his age would hang out at high school football games and the mall, but you really wouldn't say anything to someone like that. Moore, now 70 served as the assistant district attorney for Etowah County from 1977 until 1982. Jones's comments come two days after an explosive Washington Post report detailed allegations that Moore pursued sexual and romantic relationships with teenage girls when he was in his early 30s. One of Moore's accusers, Lee Korfman, told the Post that the former Alabama Supreme Court justice initiated a sexual encounter with her in 1979 when she was just 14 and he was 32. Moore has vehemently denied Korfman's allegation. But in an interview on Sean Hannity's radio program on Friday, 
he did not rule out that he dated girls in their late teens when he was in his 30s, saying that he did not remember doing so. If the allegations are true, this man should be held responsible. But sadly we live in an era where the validity of the accusation no longer matters. If someone is accused then they are guilty until proven innocent. Which leaves the door open for people to take advantage who simply don't like a political candidate and want to ruin their reputation without having any facts on their side. There needs to be a certain level of vetting because while sexual harassment and assault is a serious problem, this excessive diaspora of accusers who have no proof is leading to a point where people aren't going to take sexual assault and harassment as seriously.